Betathon was uh, the brainchild of an uh, agency in South Carolina named Riggs. And they came up with this idea because all of us are always asked for pro bono work throughout the year. And we love to do it, but you can't always do it when there's other work to be done. So they came up with this idea of taking one 24-hour period once a year and doing nothing but pro bono work. We sent out applications to all the 501c3s in the surrounding counties, got over 60 or so applications back, looked at all of those, and out of those 60-some, we chose six organizations to work with this year. And they need everything from a website to a marketing plan to brochures to displays to print ads. They all need different things. And we've met with them all, gathered all of their information, got their logos, everything that we need to do the creative work. And we're starting this morning, and by tomorrow morning, we'll have all of these items done, and they'll all come in tomorrow morning, and we'll hand it over to them. And they can take it and run with it. And we're fortunate that we have some great partners in this. Uh, we have two of our printers who uh, each year adopt somebody in the group and print the first iteration of the brochure that they need. Uh, Bernie does our t-shirts for us and uh, Mike is doing our video for us this year uh, from Medcom. So it's, it's a real community event for us too in that uh, a lot of our vendors jump in on, and help us out. It's a great way for all of us to give back to the community in a 24-hour period. We do some of our best work um, because we really don't have any rules. We can, we can create as we want throughout the night. And um, I can honestly say, oh, this is our sixth year doing it, that almost all of the things that we've created over the years for these nonprofits has been put to use, and that's, that's the best reward. Amy's been working on a couple of things tonight. She's already wrote, written the copy for a Dress for Success brochure. And right now, she's working on the copy for the GATE website, which is what she has up on the screen now. Yes. Um, uh, right now, I am slowly going through all of the um, things on the na navigation. I'm working on the programs now, talking about the therapeutic writing, um, discussing that, talking about the vocational training, the volunteer opportunities, the hippotherapy, everything that GATE offers for you know, adults, teens, children with developmental disabilities. And um, yeah, taking my time with that. It's only about 11, so <laughs> gonna wanna make it go and then I'll send it off to Beth so she can proof it. And Carol will code it and put it up on the website. Hey, so I've been working on a new website for GATE, which is a genuine alternative in therapy. Doug had designed the website um, in, in uh, Photoshop, and these are all the layers that make this, this picture, this image work. I've got my rollover navigation, and these will be the, the various pages within the site. Right now we've got the home page. Um, the logo will go here, the new brand new logo that Doug has designed and and that's that's pretty much it that's how I've been spending my day all right well besides doing all of the design work Doug also at the end of all the projects takes all of them cuts them to size and mounts them onto foam core so that we can present them to the clients tomorrow morning so he'll go through each of the the projects he'll print out copies of them, fold them so that there's one that looks like it's the real size, and then also mount one to the poster board when we're all done. So Doug, you can give them a better idea of what we're doing here. Um, right now I'm just trimming out the, the actual um, brochure, and I, I back the two sides together, so I'll fold this down to the true size, and we'll also have another version. I'll cut this out to the actual size also, and we're going to mount it to the foam core boards. And we'll, so this way, when we present to everybody, they'll be able to see the actual brochure. And then we'll hand this to the actual people that are accepting it, so they can see what it looks like all folded up and everything. And we'll do this for all the clients. Um, show, show them the, uh, the one for... Uh... We have... Yeah. This is for the Forty Fort Meeting House. We have this totally done and ready to go. Um, this is, 
they wanted to stick with the size of a church bulletin since this used to be a, a church. And you open it up and it gives a quick little talk about the 44 meeting house. And then the nice thing is to get all the information that they would like, we have it open up again. So this is set up. They don't have a large printing um, budget. So what they do, or what I did was, I set this as one color. There's nothing that comes out to the edge of the paper, nothing that bleeds. So this can easily be printed on 11 by 17 standard paper and then just fold it down to size. So they should be able to have this reproduced with the minimum cost. So we'll present this to them as well and I will print out a version that we can put up on the boards for them so everybody can see it. Um, I've been doing a couple of things. Um, first off, I, I wrote copy for the 44 Meeting House brochure that Doug now has done the design for and that one's pretty much done. We're all set with that one. I've been now working on the um, uh, Candy's Place marketing plan. Going through and, and giving them written out instructions on what they need to do for the brand of Candy's Place and how they need to incorporate that as they go forward giving them suggestions of things and, and listing them out here. Hopefully by the time I'm done, they'll have about, I don't know, 20 pages of information that they can take and use. And um, we hope to actually take their logo and show them what we're suggesting that they do with a new color and a new tagline. And then the other thing that I've been doing all night is um, updating things on our blog. Um, I'm in the middle of a blog right now where I'm just um, putting some new pictures up here and you know showing people about the visitors who have come to to see us so far, and I've done this a couple times throughout the evening, uh, just to let our friends out there know what we're doing and, and how things are going. Well, what I'm working on are five trifold displays. Family Answers is an organization, a nonprofit organization, in Lehigh County, and they have many programs under the umbrella of Family Answers. And they've requested at least five trifles to explain what the different um, organizations that they have. The one I'm working on right now, it's Ways to Work and it helps single parents arrange for transportation, economical transportation, so they can hold down a job, so they can get an education if need be to further their, their uh, lifestyle. And it's a fair amount of work that needs to be done, but I think they'll be very pleased by the time they get it. And I'm looking forward to completion of this project. You're out in the community and someone looks at that and goes, what's that? You mean like name tag? No, no, oh, just oh. a little symbol. Oh, okay. Just a symbol. Um, somebody asks and you say, well, that's the king's place in the play that. Um, it creates conversation. Um, those are just some of the things. And all of this I'm giving to you, it's all in here. Oh, okay. When I'm done. Uh, Sorry. I didn't want you to work. Pick your next walk from there. Okay. Um, hold a donor event on the site if you can. You know, the donors that you have. Invite them in and feed them wine so they give you more money. <laughs> 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 Tag paragraph. Every time a media, a media release is written, for whatever reason, the same tag paragraph goes at the end of your release. Every time. Same message over and over. So hopefully we've given you a bunch of things that you can mull over and maybe use, think about, yeah. put into your marketing plan going forward. And um, we came up with this brochure for them. Um, actually, Jim, who cannot be here since he is now at work at Corcoran, <laughs> was the one who designed the new brochure. We incorporated a testimonial, and they really wanted to express the diverse group of women that they do Help. So we tried to incorporate that as well. Here we have employee assistance program provided by the employer. Start your family in shape, which is basically a family preservation program serving English and Spanish. We also have some Spanish. I hope it was spelled properly. <laughs> we tried to do the best we could. 